Hi everybody. Hello, hello. Stacy here. Um, I am getting ready to do another, uh, well, kind of a swipe, a Dutch, well, it's a Shelly Art inspired swipe with a hair dryer. Um, I've got this one here that I don't like the way it dried. And, um, so I thought I would redo it and um i've got some colors that i have from earlier today um what i got left over there and i'm gonna do it like i did these other ones i'm gonna put the pillow paint on this side and i'm gonna blow uh with my hair dryer the opposite direction. Um, as soon as I push this down just a little bit, I wonder why one side always wants to go further than the other when they're both the same thickness. Um, I don't know why that is. Um, but let me even this out a little bit. All right. <clears throat> All right, now, um, I've got, um, several colors here that I used earlier today. Um, this is some, um, Thalo Blue mixed with Payne's Gray. Um, I'll put this kind of out to the front a little bit because we're going to put the cell activator right there. And okay. Um, then I've got one of these is teal. Um, and the other one is uh, beach something beach blue something like that I like this teal it's really pretty and I added some um, uh, red and uh, not red um, blue and green paint to it to um, give it a little depth I like the way the combination is um, if you've watched my channel you've heard me say before um, I like the combination of paint and pigment. Um, I think it works better that way. That is Snapdragon, um, pigment with, uh, just a tad bit of, uh, Violet Master's Touch paint in it. But it's mostly pigment. I didn't add but just a little bit of paint. And then, um... This is the Beach House Blue. Right here. Um, the other one is Mystic Blue. <coughs> okay. Uh, why is it tilting that way? Okay, and then I got um, a little bit of key lime. Um, pigment with a little bit of uh, lime green Liquitex paint. I love that color. It does some neat things. And then this other um, blue is, um, well, I don't know. It's another one of the blues that I got today, but I added some um, 
metallic cobalt blue paint to it. So they're kind of similar, these colors, but they were new and um, I just couldn't resist. I had to try them out. So I just did them all together. Anyway, that's pouring off because this thing is so damn tilted. Okay, now we'll get our cell activator out and this is um, mostly uh, pink. It's uh, probably um, technically two parts paint. I mean, two parts slow troll, one part paint, but it may be even a little more paint than that just because um, I wanted to make it extra thick because uh, I have found that it works better that way. Okay, quit moving. It's very irritating. Now for this, I want my little attachment on and I can get that to stay. It wants to move. I think if I could spin harder, it would be better. Um, but that's really pretty, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna tilt it some. I know. Um, take that back. I'm gonna tilt, spin it one more time. Everything gets real slippery about this point. <laughs> All right, let's tilt. I see. that big white blob out of the way and I can't do my um, my um, circle technique on this I'm just gonna see how it does if we just kind of let it ooze on down a little more try to just cover it up because there's some real pretty stuff going on on the other side and on both sides and I'm gonna damn that up so I can use it if I need to well I can kind of you know shroud it a little bit somehow That didn't work like I wanted it to. Okay, I'm trying to grab it where I won't make marks on it and get it to where y'all can see. I'll just pour some of that white off 
and I know there's color underneath it. When I stretch it, maybe it'll come back out. All right, let's see now. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. Making some cells and straightening out. Pulling that, it made some gaps in that whiteness. I'm just gonna try to straighten it up a little bit. And straighten the lacing a little bit. That's pretty. I did one this morning with those colors and it turned out really pretty too, I thought. Yeah, it's nice. So. I'll try to get some over that corner down there that's white. I don't have to. It'd be okay with, if I didn't, but I think it'd be prettier if I can. We'll just see if it has enough paint to do that. Should have. Okay. Now if I can straighten up those little fingers. I don't like those little fingers. I want them to I'll be there in a minute. Huh? I'll be there in just a minute. Okay. That's really pretty up at the top. Gosh, it moves so slow. Moving, it's just moving really slow. Pretty good for leftover paint. All right, let me get y'all down. Y'all can see. Then I'm gonna go eat dinner, and then I'm gonna do another pour of some kind. I don't know what it will be. Let me show y'all these that are dry. This one's dry, and this one is drying. That's from uh, this morning, so it's not dry yet. These dry pretty quickly, really. Um, all right. All right, let's look. Ooh, blurry. There we go. See that up at the top is really pretty, that lacing. There's some cells. <laughs> yeah, it's just a regular cough. Ooh, that's pretty.
you know, you have allergies these days and cough in the grocery store and everybody looks at you like you're a leper. All right, well, that was kind of different, y'all. Um, anyway, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you being here, and uh, I'll be back later on this afternoon and do some more. Y'all, please join me then, too, and have a great rest of your day.